Hey guys, Dan Goddard from Altium in La Jolla. Uh, so um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, output documentation. So one of the things that people run into a lot of times from project to project is spending an inordinate amount of time trying to produce consistent documentation. So one of the tools that we have at Altium Designer is called the output job file. And this allows you to create a um, a repeatable method of creating documentation that has consistent formatting and particularly like file naming and folder conventions. So um, let's go ahead and take a look in Altium Designer uh, to see how we set up an output job file. All right, now that we have Altium open, let's take a look at where the output jobs live. So we can create them from the file menu uh, and then we go into the settings folder underneath the project here. And this is what an output job file looks like. If you look on the left hand side, uh, there's a number of outputs that we can create there using these menus. Um, one of the important things to also keep in mind is that each of the outputs can be configured and that for the printable outputs, there is a page setup option. So you can go to page setup right here and then um, this will allow you to choose, you know, color, monochrome and page size and so on. Okay, there's a um, data source for each of these. So you can normally keep these at the default or you can go to um, any particular document that you want. Um, and then for uh, the um, output type here, it's listed as schematic prints, Gerber files, bills of material, et cetera. And that comes in handy later on. Now on the right hand side, we have the output containers. The output containers generally accommodate um, two primary types of outputs, either a printable type of output that can be directed to a PDF or to a printer, um, and then a file generating type of output that you can then um, uh, output into a particular folder. So we're gonna look into this demo document uh, output container here that I created. This is a PDF type output. Um, and then we'll click on the change button and you can see how we configure the folder structure for this. So the first section, you can um, basically choose the you know output directory that you want everything to go into. This could be a, you know, a shared folder, network drive, et cetera. Um, and here we have the container name folder. So you could set this by container name or container type. Uh, then we have the output type uh, uh, folder. So you could do this by output type or by output name. Then out here we have the file naming uh, section where we can um, name the file using the output name or we can use name the file using a custom name. I like using the custom name option because this allows you to uh, concatenate project parameters and project aspects together. So if you see on this particular example, I have the, you know, the project name, the output name, uh, as well as a PCBA number. Hit OK. And um, just for expediency here, I'm going to just do the schematics and we'll hit generate content. And now we have the PDFs. We have both a, you know, a um, monochrome version of the schematic as well as a color version. If you notice the file name right across the top, you have the um, type of um, output based on the container name, SCH color, then the project name, the project uh, project number, and so. All right. Hopefully you guys found that useful. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. You can find us at www.altium.com. Thank you very much.